welcome to another GCSE Computer Science video with me, Mr. Goff, from mrgoff.com. Today's video focuses on the programming construct, iteration. Iteration is sometimes referred to as looping. This is because it's where we repeat a section of code more than one time. There are three types of loop for you to be familiar with. The for loop, the while loop, and the repeat until loop. A for loop is a type of count controlled, sometimes called definite iteration. It's called definite because we know definitely how many times it will happen. Looking at this example, you can see that in a for loop, we established a temporary or local variable that acts as a counter. This value increments between the range that is specified by one each time through the loop. You can use the command step to make it increment at different rates. As in this example, you can access and use that local variable while the for loop is being executed. The while loop is a type of condition controlled, also known as indefinite iteration. It's known as indefinite because we don't know exactly when it will stop or how many times the loop will be executed. A while loop uses a Boolean condition to check when it should stop. If you look at these examples below for a basic logging in algorithm, you can see how a while loop can become very useful. It might occur at first that since you get three attempts to log in, a for loop would be the right solution. However, with a for loop, you would have to keep looping through and asking again for the password even after they had gotten it correct. To avoid this, you can see that we can do a while loop with a more complex Boolean condition using a logical operator AND. The repeat until loop is another type of condition controlled or indefinite iteration. The code in the loop always executes at least once, whereas with a while, if the condition executes as false, it may not execute at all. The Boolean check for a repeat until loop is at the end of the loop and not at the start hence why it always runs at least one time. Some languages don't provide a structure the same as repeat until. You can see in this example that it actually cleans up our code for logging in. Although it doesn't have a repeat until structure, you could create the same effect in Python using a while loop with the same condition if you just assign a value to password that will be incorrect before the while loop starts. In the past couple of examples, you have seen selection nested inside iteration. It is also possible to put one iterative structure inside another. If you are using two for loops, a different value must be used as the iterator in each for loop. If we look at this example of a nested for loop here, i first takes the value of 1, then j takes the value of 1, so the output is 1 times 1 equals 1 then j becomes 2. The output is 1 times 2 equals 2. This carries on up to 1 times 10 equals 10. At this point, that for loop has ended, and we go out into the outer for loop, and i becomes 2. j now resets to 1, and this goes through again. This would carry on until this short piece of code had outputted all the times tables for the values from 1 to 10. That brings us to the end of our video on iteration. I've been Mr. Goff for mrgoff.com. I hope you'll join me again soon for another video on programming basics, this time looking at arrays and records. Bye for now.